Support the production of more videos by visiting the support move section on my website. The link is in the description below. Thank you and enjoy. So in this video, I kind of want to think about how we can look back at Dalton's original atomic theory and compare it to what we know now. So these are his postulates that I mentioned in, the, in one of the earlier videos, and we're going to discuss them now. So he initially stated that all matter consists of tiny, indivisible particles, right, that was a key word called atoms. Okay. And he was right about all matter containing little particles called atoms, but they are not indivisible. Atoms are divisible, right, into the sum atomic particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. However, something that's pretty important is that atoms are the smallest entity that retains an element's unique properties. So what basically what I'm trying to say there is that an atom is is the smallest thing that has unique properties. Like, protons are protons are protons, regardless of which atom they're in. Electrons are the same way. Neutrons are the same way. They don't differ from atom to atom. They might differ in number and the amount of them from atom to atom, but each electron is the same. Each proton is the same. But atoms are the smallest things that have particular unique properties, right? Like an atom of oxygen is different than an atom of gold. Okay. So he was close there but not quite right about the indivisible sort of situation. Okay. Next thing was that atoms of the same element are identical in mass and other properties and are different from atoms of other elements. So he's not quite right about this one. Atoms are identical in number of protons, right? Not mass. This is because isotopes exist, right? You can have different masses, different mass numbers, um, but have the same atom, right, the same same element. Okay? But he is right about them all atoms having particular identities that are different from other elements. This next thing about atoms of an element chemically combining in specific small whole number ratios to form different chemical compounds, pretty much correct about that. That really hasn't changed very much. Okay? Atoms are recombined in chemical reactions. Atoms of an element are not converted into atoms of a different element. So this, the first part is correct, right? This first part about recombining in chemical reactions, that's true. Atoms of an element are not converted into atoms of a different element. That's not quite right, right? Because atoms of an element are not converted to atoms of another element in chemical reactions. But this can happen in nuclear reactions, which we have yet to go over. But the point is that atoms can be converted Atoms of a particular element can be converted into atoms of a different element, but not via chemical reactions, only via nuclear reactions. Okay. So he was right about some stuff, wrong about some stuff, but the point is that he kind of started things uh, as far as developing the atomic theory, and we've come a long way since then. So I um, hope that video was helpful in kind of understanding how we look at Dalton's theory now. Thank you for watching. If you found that video helpful, don't forget to hit it with a like and subscribe for more content. Also, follow Move University on the different social media links in the description below. Thanks and happy studying.